Hey guys, Chris here. Wanted to shoot a quick video and answer a question that keeps coming up over and over again. Um, and that is, how much solar power do I need and what is the average cost of a system? And um, this, is, uh, this is a hard question to answer and so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, first of all, the reason that we don't post an average system cost is because there's really no average okay now you say well my home uses the average amount of power everybody everybody thinks their home is average and uh, of course that can't be true but what uh, what really happens is the average house in Florida is not going to need nearly as much solar power as the average house in Maine so when people say average, I have to say average for where? Average for what? <laughs> so people get frustrated. They, keep, they, want, they just want one number for a solar power system and it just doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, I'm bursting your bubble here, but it just doesn't work that way. You can't um, give an average number for a solar system. It does not exist, okay? So don't get mad at me when I tell you that next time. Um, so what the, the best thing to do is to go to our, our calculator. Uh, we have a, um, a special calculator on the website that will help you determine just how much solar power you need to run your household. Um, and that will take into account your location, your power bill, and all that kind of thing. And if you want to go off grid, you can also do it that way. There's, a, there's like a grid tie calculation and there's an off-grid calculation. You can do it either way. Uh, I will warn you on the um, grid tie calculator that I'm going to link to at the bottom of the video, the, um, the pricing is really old. The uh, pricing, honestly, now compared to when this calculator was created is half. And that's, that's not a joke, that's not a sales job. It really is half. So I'm going to, I'll put a note on that page that the, the pricing, what you really wanna look at is the wattage that you, that you need. It's going to tell you that you need this many watts of solar. And then you can either decide to install that yourself, you can come back here to SolarSphere and I'll give you an estimate on that. You can shop around, you can call installers, but you really need that wattage number. The dollar number that that calculator puts on it now is double what the actual price is these days. And that's even before incentives. That price that you're going to see on there does not include the 30% from the feds or anything that you have locally. So I'll put a link to that. Um, but remember, there is no average. It, it depends entirely. It depends on what direction your, your panels are facing. Uh, if you're, are you going to put it on the roof? What direction your roof is facing? There's just no way, and anybody tells you that, that it gives you an average cost for a solar panel system is lying to you, unless they know your house, unless they have worked in your neighborhood and your city and they know your areas. Local installers might be able to give you an average number, but nobody uh, on a website or, or an internet site or a YouTube video for that matter is going to be able to give you an accurate average cost. It doesn't exist because there is no average without knowing your specific details. So I hope that helps you. I don't mean to sound harsh or, uh, or unhelpful, but I get that question all the time. And when I give this answer, people get mad at me sometimes. They think that I'm hiding something or that I'm, I'm trying to hide how expensive solar power is. It's not that at all. It's because it just can't be done. So. With the calculators, though, that I'm going to link to, you can do it, and that should help you get a good answer. Thanks for dropping by. Click on the links below to find out for yourself.